Hey there, SSG. I am hoping the saying is true third time is the charm because this is my third attempt at the video for time to catch. You know, of course, every time there's a new game, there is most likely going to be a video on SSG Tube. All right. Now, we're not going to pay too much attention to Snakes and Ladders here. We're going to focus on the game. Time to Cash has a lot of features you probably all recognize. Uh, one of them being, so let's open the pay table, it is a coin grab game. So if you get six or more of the symbols, in this case, they look like, I, would, I don't know, they, they, I mean, they look like part of the time machine. So if you get six or more of those cogs, then you will trigger the coin grab feature, which will allow you to win a mini, a minor, a major or a grand jackpot. And of course, whatever coins are on those symbols. OK. It also has free spins. Um, you will notice here that there is a slight problem in the pay table. The free spins don't equate to the same thing, but that's OK. I'll explain it to you. Instead of 12 free games with Dracula, you will get six free games and it's it's reverse, basically. And you will get 12 free free games with uh, Frankie's Bride. Now, when you pick, let's say, Dracula and get your six free spins, you will only have him. He will be the only monster on the screen, plus the smaller playing symbols. The actual symbol that triggers the free spins, because you can re-trigger them during the free spins, you need three of them to trigger. You will have Dr. Frankenstein, who is your wild, and of course, you also can get the coin grab during free spins. And there we are, the four top paying symbols, Dracula, the werewolf, Frankenstein's Frankenstein and Frankie's bride, plus the smaller paying symbols. We're missing the cat. If you remember, there's also a cat in Unfortunate Monsters. I wonder where that cat has gone. Meow. All right. Frankie is our wild, as I mentioned, and the scatter symbol is this pendant um, golden red part of the time machine. There's a logic to it. And the game rules. OK, so the thing with this also, it is um, 243 ways to win. It doesn't have pay lines. So usually the coin grabs do have pay lines. The same symbols pay in any position on consecutive reels. A number of same winning symbols on the same reel multiplies the win by that multiplier. Uh, those are the basic rules. And the bet during free games and coin grab feature is the same as in the game that initiates this features. So yep, those are pretty easy. Oh, it also has badges. I'll come back to those badges soon. So pretty easy to understand. That part I'm thinking everybody's figured out. What people might be having difficulty with is the time machine. So when you open your game, first time you open the game, uh, you actually get a timer. And the timer is very personal. It's different. I have a different timer. You have a different timer. Everybody has a different timer because it really depends on when you decide to open that game. The timer is kind of important to us because when our time runs out, um, each timer is 24 hours, when it runs out to the bottom of the last few minutes, what will happen is we will lose a battery from our rechargeable time machine. Hmm. What's the time machine? OK, so things are starting to get complicated. Let me focus on that a bit. OK, so we have a progression bar. We fill the progression bar by spinning and you will notice that the coin grab zaps some energy and there you go. I just filled the progression bar and got one bar on my battery. That's what it is. I need 30 bars to fill this battery. OK, so far, so good. I hope so. So, yep, there it goes. Progression bar went to zero and I'm filling it up, sapping that energy. All right. So the progression bar fills, helps me fill my battery here. This battery, which needs 30 bars, will give me the chance 
to time travel. Yes, we can turn back time. We can win a huge win all over again. It goes back in time for us. That's what this game does. Let's say, for example, you win something easy, like I did in this case. It was a minor jackpot. Lovely. It gives me the op option, it, because it's a super win, it gives me the option to save that win to the time machine using gems. Oh, I think I just said the hard word there, gems. Now, I had a look in group today and I did see a lot of people complain about the gems. Well, I didn't use them lightly. I didn't say, hey, okay, gems, let's throw them there. I actually went to the coin store and I had a look at the gems. So if you will notice here, it cost me $10 to buy 450 gems. For me to save on this account, for me to save my win, I needed 300 gems. So it would have cost me $10, $15, just about for two saves. So let's say I spend $20, fine, it's $20. I'm willing to spend those $20. Why? Because then I look at how much I would get if I spent $25. And it says $4 billion. Now, if you notice, the event I've saved, the win I've saved is $43 billion. I would much rather spend gems, spin in the game, get a grand jackpot or any jackpot for that matter and have coins to play later because I've won those 43 million. I've already won them and the game gives me a chance to win them all over again at a minimum cost. And actually it's very good value for money. It's much cheaper than it would cost me to buying a package from the store. So give me a bargain and I'm quite willing to have a look and see whether it's worth it and it was so yes i did use the gems and most likely if i get a bigger win i'll probably use the gems again so that's how you save your win it pops up the super win will pop up and it says would you like to save this to the time machine you click yes if you don't want to you don't have to Okay, you can just click out X out and don't worry, you've already won the coins once. You don't have to worry about winning them twice. But seriously, a grand jackpot, you want to leave that? I mean, you can win it two times. That's like super rare. All right. Now, at the moment, I have 43 billion coins saved. If I fill up this bar, I will get the option to time travel and win it again, correct? Now, what I'm going to do is I am going to increase my bet. I'm going to try and show you what could happen if I get a bigger win, I can then override my existing win and choose or save the new win, which is bigger. Again, of course, I'd have to purchase it with 300 gems. The machine can only take one win at a time. But if you get a super win, which is bigger than the one you've already got, yes, you can save it again. Um, <clears throat> you get a minor the first time, well, you think to yourself, that's not enough. And then you get a major and you say, yep, I'm keeping that one. So you override the existing and go for the major. So I'm hoping now I'm going to get a bigger win so that you can actually see how it works. Then I am going also to show you, because I've already time traveled, basically. I've already done it on one of the other videos, and I am going to show you my other video in which I time traveled, so you can get an actual idea of how it works. So for a minute, I'm just going to pause it, spin away, and hopefully get something bigger. Okay, so I got a coin grab, and I'm actually hoping um, I can do better than the win I've already saved because I want to show you in action how the 300 gems will help me purchase um, and save into the time machine. Now, something that you should also know that each time you spend gems, 
you get two free energy bars into your battery, which basically means you can finish that battery or time travel much faster. It sort of helps you along the way. Now, I don't know, I don't see really huge amounts there, but it's still got a few more spaces. Can you imagine if I actually win some sort of jackpot so that you can see it? I mean, the, the jackpot, the concept, I did see Jack in group. He won a $50, 50, sorry, $50 trillion, $50 trillion jackpot. And of course, he did the logical thing and saved it. So he won it once. And when he completes his energy bar, his battery and fills it to the top, he's going to time travel and win those 50 trillion again. Well done, Jack. All right. So um, as soon as you save a win in the time machine, it will stay there. It will stay there either until the battery runs out of power or you time travel. So for the battery to run out of power, you really, it can take days for that to happen. So once it's saved, it will sit there. And all you need to do is come back to it and spin so you don't use too much power. Like I said, you will lose one bar every 24 hours if that energy keeps... I mean, it's like a battery. It's like a battery, normal battery at home that loses power over time. No. So my win wasn't bigger than the one I had. It's a mega win. It will only... It will only... Give you the option to save a super win that's your threshold which is times 50 your bet <clears throat> okay now some of you also i'm going to state this some of you also may have objections or may not have enough coins to have this bar open to the progression bar you can't bet high enough to have the progression bar open that is fine the game will still give you the option to save your super win. It will give you the option. It will tell you, do you want to save this super win? Even if you don't have the progression bar open. So if you get a bet, if you if you get something bigger than times 50, your bet, um, the doctor will have a pop-up saying, would you like to save this? You can say yes. You purchase it with your gems. You get it with your gems. And um, it gives you two energy bars. Once that happens, basically, you've got a huge win. You can then activate it if you want to the progression bar and work towards getting that win again. So it's, it's kind of fair that way. I mean, you'll have coins to spin and open it up once you've had a super win. Okay, so I'm just going to wait for this to finish. I do hope. No, actually, um, yes, I'll wait for this to finish. And then I am going to spin away to get some free spins to show you the free spins as well. And then I'm going to show you how I time traveled. So I am going to time travel by time traveling back to an older video that I made. Okay, so let's just finish this and then I'm going to pause it to get free spins. Not too bad. It's not a super winner. It does not override my, it's not bigger than the one I've already saved. So it won't give me the option. That's okay. I'm sure I will manage it at some point, maybe with the free spins. So I'll be back when I get free spins. Okay, so I got free spins. As I said, all you need are those three of those gold and uh, red symbols. Now, I will say that usually in other games, I am kind of a gambler and I go for the smaller bets, um, smaller number of spins. But in this game, I do like the larger number of spins because I'll get more opportunities at coin grab. And the coin grab is the one that has the grand jackpot. So that's why I usually go for Frankenstein or Frankie's Bride. It's just a choice I've made in this game. Uh, it's my strategy. If you want, I could be wrong. Hmm, okay, but it's what I've chosen in the hope that I can get a few extra coin grabs. Now, I am really looking forward to a coin grab. I am really looking forward to <clears throat> getting a bigger win so that I can show you uh, than the one I've saved in the time machine so I can show you how it actually works. But I will show you the time travel anyway. OK, 
keep going. I hope I don't bore you too much with this video. It's a bit longer, but it does have a fascinating feature. So I thought it deserved a little more discussion than normal. Okay, I am losing a little bit of patience there. So that's one coin grab. Let's hope the free spins can give me a few more coin grabs. Who knows? It's 10 free spins or a bit, a few more Frankies. Frankie pays well. See, as you can see, I mentioned it before, the only monster you actually see on the screen is Frankie. And of course, the lower paying symbols, um, the retrigger and Dr. Frankenstein, along with the coin grab. So no, it doesn't look like it's going to happen again. Maybe a retrigger. No. Okay. Oh, well, it's, it was worth a shot. Okay. So you saw the free spins. You saw a coin grab. I want you to see how I time traveled. So I'm just going to open here, go to this video. It's about here. So what happened? Basically, I'm just explaining it. Um, I had a mega win, a uh, super win, sorry. It gave me the option to save. There we go. It's a super win. So does it want me to say? I said yes. I only needed a bar to complete the battery for my time travel. So I paid 300 gems. I gave 300 gems. I saved my super win into the time machine and I got two free battery energies, which took me over the top. There you go. And there's the time machine. I'm ready to travel back again to the 19 billion that I had saved into the time machine. Batteries full, time portal opening imminent. All I needed to do was click on the time travel which is what I did. Now, this is a bit odd you're seeing this, but I am going to say uh, I was clicking on Dr. Frankenstein because he's quite fascinating. I know there's no sound from the game now, but if you're playing, put sound on. Dr. Frankenstein is hilarious. So do you want to use the battery charge to collect the saved win? Yes, so let's time travel. You might not want to. I mean, seriously, you might get a bigger one than you want to. You might want to. It's up to you what you do. If you get a bigger one, you've got your battery full and you get a bigger one, you can time travel to that. And again, think of it. I know a lot of you. There you go. Congratulations. The past is now you win 19.5 billion because you time traveled and you went back. You get badge because you time traveled and because you're a smart saver so literally it is good value the money is worth it the gems that you spend to get is really worth it compared to what is in the coin store so i'm just going to x that and this and show you very quickly the badges and i am done so badges we have any four symbols during which will trigger free spins. So you want four or more of the gold and red to trigger free spins. Basically, depending then on what you choose, you will get that badge. So you can choose Dracula, Frankie's Bride, Frankenstein, or the dog lover, which is the werewolf. You will also get a badge if you travel back in time. If you win the grand jackpot whilst the time travel bonus meter is active and you will win one if you override an existing time travel save. Now you will notice that I have managed a few badges, one being the smart saver because I did override a few wins to check out the feature and to see whether it was worth it. And it was. Please, all of you, go win a grand jackpot. Let's see some huge wins, and I do hope you enjoy the game. It is quite fascinating. It, if you could only turn back time, well, guess what? You can. See you in group.